So what about the business arrangement? You find some great talent, and what are you, what are, what are you, what are, what, what are your expectations regarding their financial motivation and, and needs? We, I, I've taken the philosophy after um, beating myself in the head against a wall of, of trying it another way. You have to be very honest, wh whether you're the entertainment lawyer, whether you're the producer, the agent, or the network, with these characters at the beginning, because it is, it's going to be extremely hellish for them on, on a season one, especially if you're profiling them doing their job, because if they're doing their job or owning their own business, everyone knows that takes almost every, uh, every ounce of your being already. So now we're coming in and saying, can you give us 50 or 60 hours on top of that? And it's incumbent, the smart ones will immediately figure out ways to delegate uh, their day-to-day -day responsibilities so they can focus on the TV show. And if they have a business or they're Bethany, who's going to go uh, create all these brands, they understand that their own investment at that point can, can be monetized uh, much later. And if we just tell them that it's going to be hard, 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 I don't want to sugarcoat it. I, you know, I've done that before, you know, and that gets you to day one, but it doesn't get you, you know, uh, with, with the pawn guys, we we tell these people now we might be with you for three years. I, we were shooting another show and we got there and the, and the, the owners of the shop tried to buy my entire team lunch. And, uh, the first day I was like, I'll reimburse them or something. But the second day they did, I'm like, we're going to be here for years. You got to stop buying us lunch. <laughs> You'll be out of business. Um, I think you have to be frank with them and, and also explain to them that no one gets a lot of money their first season. The, the queer eye guys <laughs> got next to nothing. Um, I don't know anybody in a, an unscripted show who got enough money to where the money they got paid for the show was, was worth their time. The network, rightfully so, looks at it as though uh, it's our money. Uh, you guys are, you stand to benefit possibly more than, than anyone else in this scenario because you have a business that you can franchise or do a million things with. So it's, it's really an opportunity uh, for, for the people to grow their brand on a national level uh, off the financing of a network. I agree with that. I think the best talent are entrepreneurial <laughs> and that if you can convince them, as Luffield does so well, to invest in themselves and take a chance on themselves, and it works best when business affairs and lawyers second that message. It's a win for everybody. And I think on the town side, this doesn't relate to these shows, but I think it's become more realistic what the expectations are in terms of what you can earn on an appearance fee, and it's not anywhere what, what people think it is. I think first season, it's going to be a, a pretty low number, and then if the show succeeds, invariably the town comes back and asks for more money, but on a, on a starting point basis, those numbers are not high. And that, I think that's across the board for whether it's history or food network or whoever you're working with. A lot of these, just to add real quick, a lot of these characters who actually end up getting their own shows were, were small characters on previous shows. And they, and they were on those shows for free. Um, and that's something else that we convince people to do is to come and give their time for free because the, the B and C characters of shows are not, uh, there's not going to be money allocated for them in the budget generally. So... Uh, the, our gentleman Rick Dale, who's the star of our show American Restoration, he followed that path where he did it. He, he helped us on Pawn Stars repeatedly, and then we saw his creative talent and history uh, awarded him with the show.